These deep fried prawns are so crispy, you're not gonna wanna put them down. The secret is in the batter. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Crispy prawns in a honey sauce. Welcome back to Wok Wednesday here at School of Wok in Covent Garden, London. There's a class going on just outside, but I'm here to teach you. And this dish is really easy. We're gonna start with my prawns. I've got a few prepared already, or almost prepared, um, but the prawns themselves, I quite like using whole prawns. Don't throw the heads away. We can deep fry those too. No waste is always good. But the first thing you wanna do is take the head off and then peel the prawns. A little trick to peeling your prawns. So the first thing to get sort of separated from the meat is the legs. Once you've got the legs sort of out using your thumbs, then you can just press down quite firm on the prawns and pull upwards. And you can see that just reveals the meat. And the reason why we're using shell on head on prawns is because I like to keep that sort of little end bit of tail there to be able to hold on to. We'll butterfly that in a second. So there's a simple way to devein your prawns with your knife and that's to butterfly them. Once you butterfly them, keep your knife into the prawn and then just press down and sort of scrape the vein out. The honey sauce is super simple. We've got some shaoxing rice wine, a small amount, a bit of light soy sauce for some sort of base saltiness and then lots of honey. I've also got about a teaspoon of rice vinegar, not a lot, just to give the sauce a bit of balance. Dash of dark soy sauce, just to deepen the color. And then I've got some chicken stock to allow it to thin out before it then caramelizes again. Now onto the crispiest batter ever. And it starts with a mix of corn flour and plain flour. And this is kind of weird quantities. I'm going for two to one corn flour to plain flour. So half the amount of plain flour to corn flour. Along with those flours, I've got some baking powder and that will just help, similar to tempura, the batter sort of puff up. And now here's part of the secret. Now I'm gonna use this with a bit of seasoning, just a bit of salt, dry at this point to get those prawns into there with that bit of flour. And that dry bit of flour, once I've made the wet batter, will help the wet batter stick. Once your prawns are all sort of dredged or in that dry flour mix, then we're gonna make up the fresh batter. And I say fresh batter, meaning I'm making this batter just before I'm gonna deep fry, so that it's got that nice sort of air bubble sort of texture, quite light texture, but super crispy. This here is cold soda water. You can use lemonade and beer and things like that too. And what you're looking for is a sort of single cream to, between single and double cream consistency. And that corn flour will make this feel quite almost heavy as you're mixing it. But don't worry, just keep going a little bit at a time until you get that right consistency. It's getting quite gluey now. So I just keep adding a little bit at a time until it becomes less of a sort of gluey mess. Getting there. Now once you've got that sort of quick dripping consistency, I'd say you're about right. Oil, you wanna test, and that's got a bit of batter on there, so it's bubbling up very quickly. But anything wooden usually sort of fizzes at about 180 degrees. And you want this to be a good heat. So that is absolutely right and ready for me to go. You wanna work relatively quickly, but take your time in setting yourself up. So I've got some kitchen paper in a roasting tray with my School of Walk bird's nest, really. It's kind of like a, a sort of bamboo metal strainer, perfect for deep frying because it doesn't allow any oil to sit in the actual spoon itself or the, the ladle. It just allows it to drip and sieve through straight away. And then we're just gonna dip my prawns into that batter before I lay them in. It's always good to test one first 
just to make sure you're happy with the texture of that batter. Now prawns famously cook very quickly anyway, but in this batter, in that hot oil, you're talking sort of one to two minutes of frying on a high heat, and it'll turn that sort of corally pink color extremely quickly. So you can see just from that one prawn that my batter is so crispy that when I kind of tap it, it's got a hollow sound. That's gonna be really crunchy. So now, time to do the rest. And you wanna do, I could probably fit about sort of eight to 10 prawns into this wok full of oil at a time. It's not just a classic takeaway style dish, but also a classic school of wok style recipe. And that is that once you've got this crispy stuff, and that is super crispy, the sauce needs to get to the right sort of syrupy texture to be able to wrap around that crispy batter on the prawns, but not make it soggy and almost sort of stick around it. I've got some roughly chopped spring onion here. Not a lot, just one spring onion will do. That'll quickly add flavor to this sauce, but I want it to be smoking hot because this honey, this, the honey in this sauce needs to caramelize straight away. I have got some chicken stock nearby, which I may or may not use. The idea is to caramelize that sort of honey sauce to get it to a nice syrupy texture. And you're gonna, I'm gonna use the chicken stock to just mellow out that flavor a little bit and sort of balance it out, make it a bit more sort of not just sweet, but with a base of savory. And then as it becomes stickier, you get this almost foam forming. At that point, I'm gonna pour a little bit of chicken stock in. And then reduce that down again. And this is best done with a thin metal wok. Got that round bottom so I can kind of circulate the heat and when I'm ready to, toss those prawns into this syrupy sauce that will just coat right around it straight away. I'm pretty much there now. At this point, you gotta work pretty quickly. Prawns in and those crispy heads. Quick toss through. Try and get all that, whoa, that one's for me. Oh, that one's for Lee. And once that sauce is coated around the prawns, switch it off and serve up. And that sauce is seriously sticky. And so these toasted sesame seeds will just sit on top of the prawns to add an extra level of crunch as if it's not crunchy enough as it is. I can hear that crunch. Can you hear that crunch? If that crunch is making you want to cook even more, check out our Chinese playlist. There's loads more recipes there. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding, hit that notification bell. And if you want, send us some photos on Instagram or anywhere else.